Hi, I'm Stephanie with MD Images Photography. Thanks for stopping by. Today, I'll discuss photography and makeup tip number one shimmer versus matte. When do you use it and why? And why does it matter so much for photography? In photography, the camera doesn't see everything the same way that your eye does. The camera sees in 2D, at least for right now, and your eye sees in 3D. Therefore, shimmer makeup isn't always the most appropriate to use when you're going for your portraits or better yet on your wedding day. So where do you want to use the shimmer and where not to get the best look for your photos? First, let's talk about the eyes. The eyes are great for using makeup, great for using shimmer, but when it's used in appropriate places. Here's the reason why. Shimmer and frost eyeshadows have reflective properties. That's what makes them shine. However, you really don't want that shine in your photograph. Have you ever noticed when you've taken pictures out with friends at night and you've had to use the flash on your camera, how you have these really white strips right there underneath your brow bones and you wonder why your makeup doesn't look so great, face might look a little greasy? It's that shimmer. It reflects any light that hits it. Whether it's the lights I'm using like today, my photography lights, or if it's light coming in from a window, a flash, or outside. Therefore, shimmer on the brow bone is a no-no. That's where you want to use your matte. When it comes to blush, you definitely want to avoid shimmer. Shimmer on your cheeks actually makes your cheekbones look oily. Therefore, it doesn't look great in front of the camera. If you're not taking photos, go ahead, shimmer away. But on photography day, stay away from those shimmer or frosted blushes as well. That's when you want to use matte. Go all out with your lipstick, choose the shimmer and frost, and go all out with the gloss. That's where you definitely want to take advantage of getting to use the shimmer. And don't forget your matte powder. You definitely want to use a matte loose powder. Hopefully these tips will help you achieve a better look in your photographs. Here's what I see when I'm editing photos where someone has used a shimmer powder across their chest and shoulders. Notice the little white pixels in the photo. That's it for today's photography and makeup tip number one. I hope you shine in front of the camera and don't forget to visit my website www.mndimages.com. Hope to see you again soon.